look out for joy because if you don't you'll be miserable do you know this is why do you know why there are more accidents and there are more deaths in december it's not only because a lot of people are on the road one of the reasons is because a lot of people eat the road and you know the road is congested and everybody wants to get to their village on time and the people are running without considering the fact that you cannot i mean you have to be careful at the same time some are already drunk this is when people drink a lot of alcohol in the name of the fact that they think they are celebrating so he's drunk and he's driving and you are not drunk and you are driving all of my kinori <laughs> may we not you probably will call them alagbako people that you know somebody is drunk you you are not drunk and because he's drunk he's he's just driving anyhow you are driving carefully but i just pray we don't meet such people on the road now but you see that's not the only reason why we have so much accident in december that's not the reason why many people die towards the end of the year many more reasons why many people die towards the end of the year is that people feel their expectations are not met that the year has come to an end 2019 has finished i have not done this i have not done that i have not done this i have not done that my life is not a, my life is not good enough it's useless it's, so that's that thought alone somebody is driving is that's what he's thinking about this is why even some people some people even die not because they have an accident but because some sleep and they don't wake up I mean, some will sleep and not wake up now the reason is that we do not understand that if i if if i didn't get it right this year i'll get it right next year <laughs> see for god to give you another year is a proof that god is still interested in your life is a true is a is the fact that god still want to do more in your life if i fall yesterday i'll rise up today if i didn't get it right well if i didn't meet 100 percent of my expectation whatever i've not achieved this year all i can all i have the opportunity to do is to put it for next year am i correct am i correct for instance if i prop if i plan that i'm going to do christmas in my personal house in 2019 but i did not that's not enough to kill myself that's not enough to be sad because the truth is that i'm still alive somebody who has built his house and he's dead he can't build more houses and the one he has built he can't live inside it me i'm still breathing i still have hope are you following me so the bible says every time you fall into diverse temptation take time to count it count consider it pay attention until joy is produced find joy you know why it's important that you don't lose your joy it's important you don't lose your joy because if you lose your joy you have lost so many things your joy is more important than the car you didn't buy your joy is more important than the house you didn't build your joy is more important than the wedding that didn't take place in 2019 your joy is more important than even the child that you're expecting to come this year I remember when about seven years ago when i had a very uh, uh, uh i i faced something so challenging i was down to nothing and i remember my elder brother he took me out like twice or thrice we had this outing he wanted to make me happy and he asked me this question pastor what do you want at this stage of your life you are down to nothing fine but what do you want i said i just want to be happy because if i'm happy Every other thing I'm expecting, I will, I will be alive to receive them. I won't be on the sick bed when they are coming. I won't be dead when they are coming. I just want to be happy. I said, I just want to be happy. I said, me, once I am happy, every other thing will meet happiness. If you lose your joy, you have lost your strength. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10. Nothing is worth your joy. If you lose a relationship some years ago this year that relationship is not worth your joy i'm talking about your personal joy your personal happiness if you lose a business it's not worth your joy in fact if you lose a loved one it's not worth your joy somebody said but pastor ah hey it's not easy yeah it's not easy because somebody died does not mean that all of us will follow the person is that the end of the world Oh, somebody said I lost he lost his parents he lost his dad he lost his mom that's still not the end of the world 
Amen. Are you following what I'm saying? This is what many people don't understand. And one thing will happen to them and everything will crumble. Just because one thing crumbled. I will say I'll count it all joy. Another reason why you must not lose your joy is not just because your joy is your strength. I said the joy of the Lord is your strength. The image chapter 8 verse 10. And you must not lose that strength. Another thing is that joy is as good as medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. You can't afford to lose that thing that keeps you healthy. It's not drugs that keeps us healthy. It is joy. Everybody say joy. If you check Proverbs 17, 22, he said joy, he said a merry heart is as good as medicine. Proverbs 17, 22. A merry heart does good like medicine. But a broken spirit, what? Dries the bone. I won't stay too long with a broken spirit.